A huge push from Governor Cuomo to move towards renewable energy in New York State. Some rural counties are seeing a flurry of applications from solar companies trying to set up solar panels, solar farms. This includes Batavia. Eriketa Koss has the story for us. The rolling hills in the town of Batavia are capturing the attention of many solar companies. So much so, the town is overwhelmed. They had to set a moratorium for applications in place to figure out an updated solar code for everyone's needs. Daniel Lang with the town says there's a lot to consider when working with companies. Neighbors nearby, trees in the area, and overall geography. We want to make sure that we're doing it in accordance with our comprehensive plan and making sure that we're keeping the landowner's rights and the farm right. Nancy Brock is a resident who lives close by to one proposed solar energy site. She has a few concerns for projects popping up in plain sight. For one reason, the look of the solar panels. Another, her general criticism of Governor Cuomo's plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 80% by 2050. Think about that, how realistic that is. As a result, she's been a regular voice in town meetings in which Lang says participation from residents is key moving forward. Meetings discuss the cost of working on the projects, choosing the best locations, and zoning regulations. The people that live in an area know it best, and they know what's right for it. For some people like Russ Romano, they'd rather not wait for these energy projects. Romano is a realtor representing a Batavia landowner currently in due diligence with a prospective solar company. This is a fast-moving situation across New York State. Renewal, green renewable energy is very much on the minds of many people, including the governor, to get more green energy throughout New York State, which will create jobs. Lang says until Batavia catches up, these rolling hills will capture attention, but not the sun. Reporting, Erica Cost, News 8. All right, Erica, thank you. Both state and federal leaders are pushing for more green energy. In the governor's state of the state this year, he revealed a $26 billion private public initiative involving wind and solar energy products.